Hi, my name is Michael Boomhoff, and today I'll be talking about Cariophilaceae. So Cariophilaceae is a member of the order Cariophilalis. There are approximately 2,740 species and 80 genera. Cariophilaceae is separated into three subfamilies, Alcinoidae, Arionchioidae, and Cariophiloidae. This family is characterized by a swollen jointed node where the leaf meets the stem as you can see in the picture to the right. Cariophilaceae can be found worldwide, but is most commonly found in higher elevations in the Northern Hemisphere and Mediterranean. It can be typically found in forests, grasslands, and alpine regions. Cariophilaceae grows as herbs and shrubs, and is annual, biennial, or perennial. Its leaves show opposite world or really alternate arrangement, and its margins are entire. The inflorescence of this family can be terminal or axillary signs and solitary flowers. These flowers are usually bisexual, showing radial symmetry. It is five maris. In addition, these flowers of this family are characterized by their deeply notched or divided petals. Flowers are typically bright with a wide range of colors between species. Flowers have a superior ovary of one or three to five locules. The stamen number can vary between one and 10 and in one or two whorls. As well, it typically has free central placentation. is typically pollinated by long-tongued insects, including bees, moths, and butterflies, but can also be pollinated by wind. Its fruits comes in capsules, as you can see on the pictures to the right. And the amount of seeds per capsule varies between one to 150. These seeds come in a variety of shapes and colors and are usually dispersed by wind, rain, and gravity. As you can see to the right, there's a wide variety of different seed shapes and colors that are available. Well, the first subfamily I'll be talking about is Cariophiloidae. This is the largest subfamily of Cariophiloidae, containing approximately 1,500 species. Its sepals connate into a cup or long tube. It's typically found as herbs, has clawed petals, with some species having appendages and oracles, which are small clasping outgrowths. It lacks stipules, has a tap root, and or rhizomatous roots. Second subfamily, Parionchioidae, is the smallest subfamily, containing only 200 species. Is found as herbs and substrubs, has stipules present, petaloids, staminoids, and taproot. It also has some very interesting flowers, as you can see to the right. The last subfamily, Alcinoidae, is the second largest, containing 1,040 species. It lacks stipules and has taproot and rhizomatous roots. Cariophilaceae is very popular for its colorful flowers and large blooms. It is also easy for horticulture and gardening, with many home growers and commercial growers growing this particular family. Some of the popular species of this family include carnations, baby breath, and campions. In addition, it is also the recognized flower of Mother's Day. The writer just a few pictures of what it would look like in a commercial grow, an out home grow, and a typical garden. So something you probably didn't know about car about carnations in particular is that the official mothers they flower. So it all began with Anna Jarvis when she began her campaign for Mother's Day. 
during her campaign, Christian churches began adopting the holiday as a way to bring in more children for Sunday school. As the, as the holiday became more and more adopted, religious publishing firms began selling Mother's Day materials to Sunday school children. Inside of these materials were white celluloid carnations. As the holiday continued picking up more steam, carnations became the flower to give on Mother's Day. 